There are many situations that you win fights and your team is alive, or you manage to lose one or two teammates, but instead you kill four or five enemies. There are many reasons why, but the main one is your formation that your team happens to have. This game, formation means information. My name is Black Raid, and this is the first video of the series Tarkov Squad PvP Guides. Number 1. This is the first and most important tip for this video. It doesn't matter who is going to get the kill. In the end, you manage to survive and you actually help your teammate to finish the fight. Just by making noise from running or shooting anything works against them. There are many situations where I'm making noise to confuse the enemy or to lure the enemy and then my teammate finishes him off from another angle. It's working, it's working, he's gonna come, he's coming. Run away, run away, run right, like, down the middle. Got him, dead, Nice, work. nice. Number two. Spread out has a meaning. It doesn't mean you spread out and you just wait for your opponent to move. You apply pressure from multiple sides and you avoid multiple casualties at once. Having teammates left and right while maintaining the line means that the enemy is not able to flank you shoot on sight everyone who is in the front and you are able to set up traps. I will use a team of three as an example. Let's say I'm in shoreline and we're heading from the power station to tunnel for extraction. When we're on the rocks, one of us starts taking fire from the hill across. What we do is spread across the rocks, facing them in a line, picking from multiple sides fast to gather info. We never pick in the same spot, we move right and left, and we pick again to avoid getting shot. When we have the information on where they are and how far, the best side, right or left, from our formation will start flanking while we keep them busy picking and firing at them. It only takes a minute for your teammate to be on their side and kill them both. This is a real scenario that happened to me and my team, but unfortunately, I did not record it to show it to you. Again, me and my teammates on the rocks, we did not get the kills, but our effort was enough to win the fight. If you really care about the loot, then you will be glad to hear that he cannot really take all the loot from two dead PMCs, so you might take something out of this fight. In the end, you deserve it. Number 3. Don't be stuck behind your teammate when he's inside the building. Keep a distance, you don't want to get railed by someone who is watching the stairs or the hallway. Instead, you might want to enter from another entrance or hold an angle that might be a threat for your teammate. I know there are choke points on certain locations, but there is a way to move around them. If you want me to make a video about it, please leave a comment down below. Number 4. When the team moves, don't try to overrun your teammates or stay far behind. There have been many times that you will start getting shot at from behind and because you think your teammate is behind you or your friend that has pushed a lot further might die and because he's far away you can't get a trade or at least information from where exactly the enemies are. Staying close has also the benefit of shooting on sight because you don't really need to ask if this is your teammate or not but just a simple call out hey there is a guy at the fence front right will make the job easier or whenever you're getting shot at from behind you don't really have to think about a teammate that he's left behind and you're not gonna get confused if that's your friend or an enemy. That's a problem now, um, Hans is, is further away and I'm not sure which one to shoot. Yeah. Got it! Got him, got him, got him. Got him, Nice, nice. Number five. When in a building with multiple floors, you want to cover as much ground as possible. If you have one guy, you stay on the first floor and loot or watch, and then another one is on the second floor that has the benefit of information and avoiding getting stuck as a group in a place that you cannot escape or even worse, get flanked. When someone is close to the first floor, the guy who is actually there will inform his teammate 
who is on the second floor, and then he will assist according to the situation. Five seconds. One, yeah, two, I hear him, yeah. Three, four, five, throwing it. I'm gonna throw it again, wait, I'm gonna throw one more. Wait, where are you nading? I'm not... Yeah. Oh, there's stairs. That one, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pushing them the whole amount. Yeah, he's there, he's there. Got him. Why is he not dying? Hello? Is this dead? Is this dead? And finally, number six. In a panic situation of getting shot at, you need to not lose contact with your team. A simple way of doing so is by having a rule that whenever you were getting shot at, we are moving backwards towards the closest cover. Then, we communicate first where everyone is and then where the enemy might be exactly. Because at this point, everyone knows the general location from where they are getting shot at. That a situation that backwards running might not be an option for cover, which means that the individual will have to get to the closest cover possible. That is why it is so important to avoid open fields on any map at all costs. It sound right, boy. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck, I'm getting proper surprised. Yeah, you're getting yeah, shot as well. Fuck, I'm hurt. I'm gonna die. There's more come than back, one. Come 100% back. more than one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back, come back. Where are you from? I'm up at the wall. I'm up at the wall. I can't come back now. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna try to flank, alright? He's playing M61. Yeah, yeah, I saw the fucking. Tracer is coming back. And that concludes this episode. I hope you guys found this video useful. I'm working on other guys as well. But if you need any help with the game, we have a Discord server where we play a lot as squads and we also share a lot of useful information and ideas. Link down in the description. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to help my channel by liking the video and subscribing. Happy hunting. Use a cure. Use a, use a, use a, use a. Gas station. Yeah, he's taking fire, dummies. Got it. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, fuck. Forgot. Oh, another one. I'm dead, I'm dead. Inside. Fuck.